guys to another episode of LC Stack. So guys, in today's video, I will explain how you can communicate between two components. So in this video, we'll be communicating from child component to parent component. We'll be using custom events for that and using a custom event, we'll be communicating between these two components. Okay. So guys, for this example, I'm already having a child component, a basic structure of a child component, which is empty right now. And we are also having a parent component. So my child component name is child component child component communications and my parent component name is parent component communication okay i know i'm not that good at choosing names from the for the components but anyways so guys in the child component we'll be having a button and on that button's click we will send a request to the parent component which we, uh, through which uh, the parent component can identify like uh, there was an event on the child component okay so we'll basically creating an event child on child component and we will trigger that event on parent component okay so it will just notify the parent like uh, that yes uh, there was a event on the child component okay so for that we'll create a lightning button first okay let's name it so I'm planning to have a counter on the parent component and on the click of this button in the child component, we will increase the count of that counter in the parent component. Okay. Uh, so let's name it count plus plus. And we will have on click event. Let's name it handle on change. or handle on click click sounds better so this was the child component and this is the javascript part of it we don't have to import anything so we'll just directly use handle on click here okay and in this handle on click we will create a custom event so we will be using dispatch event and we will dispatch a new custom event okay so guys in custom new custom while creating new custom event you can just pass any name in this custom event just make sure it should not be in uppercase okay you just have to use all lowercase characters here so i'm using increase count and it should be in the single quotes so guys, basically uh, what I did here, I have created a custom event and my custom event name is increase count. Okay. In my child component. So that's it for the child component. And let me just send it to the org. Okay. It is deployed to org. Now let's move to the parent one. And this is my parent component. No, this is not the parent component. Parent component coming here. So let's name it. I'm listening. Okay, so in this parent component, guys, we will have a count here. Mm, let's say count of clicks. Let's have the value in the count variable on the backend. Okay, and here we will be nesting the child component, which was child component communication. Okay, and we'll be having the event name here now. So the event name was on increase count the event name was increase count but you just have to call it here so you have to use on here so whenever it will call the on increase count so there will be another event in this parent component which will be doing the work for you so let's name it handle uh, change or handle event change okay now we will work in javascript part so in javascript also we don't have to import anything we'll just directly use the count variable which is by default one and we will use handle event change here and in that handle event change we will just 
increase the count so this dot count equals to plus one okay i think that's it let me just deploy to all all right so we have deployed both components without any error all right let's edit the page and have the component now so the component was hmm, parent component which i know is parent component communication here it is. let me just have it in the third row i'm communicating i'm listening okay let's see how capable it is to listen to the child components all right so this is our component so on the click of this count button it should increase the count here okay and as you can see it's working as expected so basically we are sending an event from the child component and that event will trigger another event in parent component through which we can identify like there was an event in the child component and based on that event we can do whatever you like to do as per our requirements okay so that is it for today guys and i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you like the video or subscribe to the channel will be awesome and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching